Glory to God. Thank you for joining me, God's Deaf Poet, Dr. Alexis Mastin, for prophetic prayer. I appreciate you all. Uh, This prayer is for prayers for a husband, prayers for a spouse. And so I know that many of you have been waiting, you have been um, praying, you have been fasting to no avail. It's almost like nothing is happening. And that was my story. That was my situation. And then the Lord turned that thing around. I met my husband in September of 2016. We were engaged uh, in uh, four months later, and then we were married in uh, October the 14th. And so I just want to touch and agree with you guys and pray with you guys. And I know that the Lord is going to do a miracle in your life. And so just prepare your hearts, prepare your minds, and uh, get ready for what the Lord is going to do. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you said that you are the sun and shield, Lord, that you would give grace and glory, that no good thing will you withhold for them that walk uprightly. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that you would send the right man to the woman that is listening now. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that you have already laid out your plan. I thank you, Lord, that you even know the very hair on his head. I pray against every spirit that would halt their union. I pray for his mind and his body, that it'll be in tune with divine DNA from heaven. Let your original design be upon him. Father, I gird him up with the spirit and the sword of truth right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against every false spirit wife, every Delilah, hallelujah, connected to him. Lord, I thank you that he would be released right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that he is fully equipped. Lord, we thank you right now, hallelujah, that your word says that before you formed us in our mother's womb, that you knew us. So, Father, I thank you that you know the woman that is listening, Father. You know her heart. Lord, you know exactly what she needs. So, Father, send her what she needs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. A man that is well trained, a man that is well equipped in you, that embodies the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We ask, hallelujah, that they would have a union that would reconcile quickly, that they wouldn't be caught up in the world system of arguing. Father, I pray against every snake, every snake in his ear that would lead him into the road of dam- dam- damnation. Father, I ask you, hallelujah, to allow him to be covered in your presence. Father, protect him and lead him beside your still waters. Give him business designs and ingenuity. Let him be a successful man. Father, grant him favor from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Let him have confidence. Let us agree. Father, let it be clear to him. Hallelujah. That even as even as the servant saw Rebecca, Father, and knew that she was the one, I thank you, God, that you would cause that to be in his heart as well. Father, I pray against all false starts. Hallelujah. All false starts in the name of Jesus. All false relationships in the name of Jesus. Father, we call him in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We partner with your word. Hallelujah. That it is not good for man to be alone. And so we say that he will be a bone of our bone. Hallelujah. And that we would be here his rib and that he would know that we are the one in the name of Jesus Lord I pray in the name of Jesus hallelujah that you would send every woman on this line dreams and visions that will show them hallelujah the roadmap concerning their mate father hallelujah I thank you that that you would send them a husband a set man who is gentle and kind but also in his right mind in the name of Jesus a man who is like a king honest and humble hallelujah that carries your countenance and your character father I pray against every false husband all spirit husbands every distraction hallelujah we cut them off in the name of Jesus hallelujah every distraction that would come into our dreams I cut it off in the name of Jesus father I thank you that these women would not be confused by false realities father they would not be confused by time wasters in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you that you said, behold, I do a new thing that it will spring up. So, Father, I pray that their set man, their husband would spring up even in the midst of their uh, even in the midst of their crying, even in the midst of their waiting. Father, I thank you that you would gird them up in this time, that even as they're waiting, you would teach them how to create, that even as they're waiting, you would teach them, Father, hallelujah, how to be wise. Father, I pray right now that every emotional wound, that you would begin to heal them. Hallelujah, Father, that you would let that not be a burden. Father, I pray against every word curse. I pray against words of slander. I pray against a word that would try to discourage, discourage 
and discredit their character. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, hallelujah, that you would send your reinforcements. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that you would send hope to them. Father, for they're feeling hopeless. Lord, I decree and declare hallelujah that this will not fail. I thank you, God. Hallelujah that what you called before the foundation of the earth so it shall be that you are not a God that you shall lie, nor the son of man that you shall repent. Father, I thank you that your word said that you would give us the desires of our heart. So Lord, this woman desires to be wed. This woman desires to be married. Well, I decree and declare hallelujah that she would be married. Father, I decree and declare that she would walk hallelujah and see this person and know that she knows that she knows and so will he father I thank you hallelujah that there would be a sign your presence would be a sign I thank you that your peace would be a sign in the name of Jesus Lord I pray against everything that would cause them to think that they are not worth it that they have low self esteem father I remove hallelujah every word curse that has said this woman will not get married that woman will not get married that they're not built for that father I thank you hallelujah every word curse that said that they would not have children. Lord, I decree and declare that they will be married and that they will have children. Father, I open them up, hallelujah, to do whatever they need to do to prepare. In the name of Jesus, Father, hallelujah, let them be able to get out of this this sunken place of depression and this sunken place of lack and this sunken place where they feel like it's never going to happen to them. This sunken place of jealousy and envy. Father, I just pray right now that you would wash them in your love. I ask you, hallelujah, to cover them even right now in the name of Jesus Father hallelujah let them dream again concerning their mate hallelujah let them go along with your word Father God your way in the mighty name of Yahshua whatever way you lead them concerning their mate I pray hallelujah that it would be the right man because he was sent from you hallelujah every good and perfect gift comes from you so Lord I pray that you would change our point of views change the way they look at it hallelujah let them not be conformed by things of this world but ye be ye therefore transformed by the renewing of their mind. Lord, I pray that they wouldn't be stuck in TV land. They wouldn't be stuck in this world system that says they have to have this or that. That has nothing to do with your love and your heart. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah that this person, this man would be rooted and established in you in the mighty name of Yahshua. Father, even if it's not physical yet, but it's a spiritual foundation and that he has the ability to build. I pray hallelujah that you would send a builder their way in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you would break the cycle of them having to pay for things for men and dress men and take care of men. I thank you, hallelujah, that that is not your will for their life. Father, so I just decree and declare that they would be a Proverbs 31 woman. I decree and declare that they would be able to be ingenuity and have their own business plans and skills. Father, in the name of Jesus, that they would be patient and kind. Lord, I pray that you would let this mind be in them that is also in Christ Jesus. Father, remove every doubt. Remove everything that would tell them this is not your will. I thank you, God, hallelujah, that they should not feel guilty for wanting to be loved. I thank you, hallelujah, God, that they are far above rubies. Hallelujah, Father. That they are way, they are way more than enough. So Lord, I thank you, God, that you would remove that toughness, the toughness that has come over their heart from being hurt. God, cast down every hurt. I cast down every fear, every anxiety in the mighty name of Yeshua, Lord. I pray right now that you would give them the wisdom, hallelujah, the wisdom not to listen to what the world may say, but to listen to your word in the name of Jesus. Father, you said it is not good that man shall be alone and in that word you meant women and men father so I thank you that this is the season that you're calling men together from the north the south the east and the west even from international God I thank you that you would bring together couples for your glory for your purpose in the name of Jesus that they would be surrounded by people who love them hallelujah that by people who would lift them up and not try to judge the relationship people who can see that it was God's will and God's way people who can prophesy and say this is what's going to happen father I pray that you send a dream to the woman who's listening to this I pray that you would send a smoke signal to say this is me this is I hallelujah that they would know even as the men walked on the road to Emmaus did not our hearts burn within us father let them know that they know that they know that this is your will in Jesus mighty name I give you glory and I give you praise father and I decree and declare that it is so in Jesus mighty name amen and amen